Hey guys, here's a quick look at the battery. Um, what you've got is four 12 volt lead acid batteries. These are 12 volt, 12 amp hour batteries. So when you connect these together in series, uh, you get 48 volts at 12 amp hours. Now it came with a pair of chargers these 48 volt 2 amp chargers um, these chargers require draw to start charging now i don't know if they require more than a 2 amp draw but these batteries being completely dead don't produce enough draw to start these chargers so these chargers will not charge these batteries connected in series um, when they're so dead they won't accept a charge so what i'm trying to do is i've got this little um charger here that is i don't know if you can see it it's a 12 volt 100 milliamp charger so this is a trickle charger um, it's old school all there is inside is a transformer there's no brain there's no circuitry and what it does is it'll take a completely dead flat battery and it'll it'll wake it up and start to make it take a charge um, this thing will recharge a bottle cap it's crazy how many batteries i've saved with this little charger and it'll start out with a power led and no led at all on charging and slowly but surely as the battery starts to take a charge this charging light will come on and it's actually beaming pretty bright right now which means that this battery that i've got it connected to is taking a 12 volt charge um, probably only have to charge these up about 30% before we can switch over and hopefully get the, the actual charger to start charging these batteries. But you have to do them individually. So right now we've got this one charging. And I'll leave it on there for a couple days and then I'll move it to this one and then I'll move it to this one and then I'll move it to this one and by then we should have enough volts in this pack that one of these two starters should be able to start charging it to, to finish it off I suspect these batteries are uh, no good they're probably old and tired but we can at least get one charge even a half charge or a third of a charge into these to test out our electric bike if the bike moves briefly, even for a roll around the parking lot with this pack, then we know the bike works and we can order replacement batteries. I've already found replacements on a website for about $35 each, which isn't too bad. Uh, it includes free shipping. You can't beat that. So if we can get, like I said, these to take a partial charge enough to spin the wheel and tell us that this bike works, I'll go ahead and order new batteries for it and we will be in business. So stay tuned, make another video when we get the new batteries if this is successful.